Hi guys, if you don't know me, I am Brooke and that is my dog Pippa and we travel full time out of my 2011 Honda Pilot and today I'm going to be talking about my bed. So I have been posting a lot of videos recently, most recently all my Vlogmas videos and people have questions about how the car is set up and my bed situation and right now if you guys didn't know I only got this car back in September of this this year I used to be in a Honda CRV and I upgraded to the pilot when my CRV unfortunately had some problems that I couldn't fix. It was nearing 300,000 miles. So when I got the opportunity to get this car, I really jumped on it. And because I was really kind of still shaking down the car when I first moved in, I did not do a build at all. I still have no build in this car. I only have one seat taken out and it's the seat that's right behind the passenger seat. But if you're not familiar with the Honda Pilot, these are pretty long vehicles. I get a lot of questions a lot about why I'm not in like a minivan, but Honda Pilots are about the same size as a minivan. This actually has three rows of seating. Um, and so it's just a higher clearance vehicle and I wanted four wheel drive. So it's just kind of the SUV version of being in a minivan, only I still have most of the seats in this car. I didn't in my Honda CRV because that car was old and I got it for very, very cheap, but I worked really hard to afford this car, so I am trying to keep it a little nicer, which is why I have not done anything to build over it, and I just wasn't sure how I wanted to live in this car like how it was going to work out so now that I've been in the car for a couple months I had just been previously using my old bed setup from my CRV in this car but it my old bed setup was a lot smaller because the CRV is a smaller car so I had to finally make some adjustments to make a little bit bigger bed for myself and it's just going you'll see in the clips here in a second it's just going off of the seats laying flat that is one of the reasons I picked this car was because I didn't have to modify the seats at all when you put the seats down they just go flat and it's really easy to manage so if you're looking for a vehicle that you can just go camping in by just putting the seats down. This is one of the choices you could make. One of the mid-2000s pilots will work. I'm pretty sure some of the older ones don't have fully flat seats, and I'm pretty sure some of the new ones, the seats don't go all the way flat either. Um, I'm not a like SUV expert by any means, so you'll have to obviously do research on which years have which body style, but this is the one that has a more square body style in the back and the seats do go completely flat all the way to the third row. So this is just kind of what I've done. I used to use a children's Ikea mattress as my base. It fit my Honda CRV bed build perfectly. And then I just put mattress toppers on top to like fluff it up a little bit. But it was probably the size of like one of those like Coleman camping cots. It was a very skinny. So Pippa could not sleep in the bed with me at all all and so with this because this is just putting the seats down the seats are wider so obviously when I had those smaller bed in here all it would do was like slide around when I was sleeping and a lot of the times I was falling into this little crack right here um like by the door and it was really starting to hurt my shoulder so as you'll see, I kind of remedy that situation in this build. I will eventually, I'm going to say right off the top because I know I'm going to get some comments about it. I only used more mattress toppers. So I had two previous ones. So I used those and then I just grabbed another two when I was at Target recently. I am actively looking for one more piece of foam that is more firm to put on the bottom to act as more of like a mattress. But right now with the holidays and everything I think there's just like there's just no merchandise on the shelves and so I just haven't been able to find like a two inch little mattress basically that's affordable that I can kind of cut the shape out but eventually I will put something underneath there to fill in the rest of the gaps but I've been sleeping on it for like 
a week now and it's been still really comfortable. I don't have a problem with it if you have different sleep needs obviously modify it but this is just an option and what I did and so here all of it is and I will show you step by step how I did it and I hope you enjoy it. So this is that children's Ikea mattress I was talking about. It is like tiny as you can see and it's really thin. It worked for me for a long time because I'm only 5'4", maybe 5'3", if I haven't had a good day, and it just wasn't one of the things, though, that really worked well in the new car because of the space difference. But if you are looking for a smaller option in the vehicle that you have, these are like 50 bucks at Ikea and it's a good option. But here's what the back of my pilot looks like with nothing where the bed is supposed to be. As you can see, this lays as close to flat as humanly possible. I sleep with my head up against the driver's seat. I just put that seat back a little bit to close that gap um, and it works out super well. I can't feel any of the gaps that are in the seat but if you are a more sensitive sleeper you might but it doesn't bother me at all. There are enough layers in what I'm about to show you that you shouldn't feel most of it because um, I'm a side sleeper and I would definitely, definitely notice. <laughs> and so I just use these mattress toppers from Target. You've probably seen them before. I think they're like 30 bucks a piece, which is kind of expensive. But like I said, I had already had two purchased. So I just got a twin and a full and you'll see that. So this is the twin sized and this is what it looked like before I cut it. It almost fits perfect with the width, which is why I picked to have one twin size as the base. And that's just from every angle that I'm showing you. And then I literally just, with regular scissors, cut it along the edge to have it have a more customizable fit. And then I literally just put a slit in the side of it so it could go around that curve to start to fill that gap where I was falling uh, into the side. And then I did the exact same thing on the other side. And again, you don't need one of those like really thick foam cutters. You can just use scissors on these mattress toppers. These are the two I had originally purchased. So these are full sized, just folded in half. They're not cut at all. And um, when I unfold them, you can see that here in this next clip. So I basically took them unfolded them and f started to just fill in that space. So I cut a slit in the side so it'll go around that little part in the door and then folded it back over so it's nice and thick again. Folded um, it right there for you and then cut another slit so it could go around this little console and kind of laid it diagonally as you can see so we can then fill in the gap on the other side right here cut the other slit and then that one lays on the side so you can see them here just stacked on top of each other and then I have a plan for the gap so these are a little bit too long for me of course so I just cut off some end pieces and started to fill in the gaps that you saw. I know it's kind of hard to see but I'm filling in all of the gaps so it'll lay flat <laughs> and so I can have um, one big cohesive mattress. So this is the last full size that I bought and I'm going to turn this into the like mega mattress that it is. So I'm just going to actually tuck it all in so it holds all of those little pieces together. So I'm literally just cutting slits in and then tucking it in so it holds everything together. So you can see now how flat it is and it looks like one big mattress. And so when I'm sleeping, I won't be able to feel all those different cuts that I've made. Does that make sense? Um, it's so hard to explain, but that's why I like it's nice that there's a visual. I basically just filled in what I needed to fill because it does flare obviously out at the top. Um, towards the head of the bed, but I also don't want those pieces to move around. So tucking it all in helped a ton. Then I just took a full-sized fitted sheet and used that to hold everything together. 
having the fitted sheet a little bit larger than what you need helps to keep from squishing all of that foam down so you can still have like the fluffiness of it but then it also keeps all those foam pieces together so they don't end up sliding around outside of the sheet and then you can always just you know take off the sheet to wash it and change it and everything like that um, but before when I used the twin size it was too small and it would like really squish the bed and then here's just the bed made I have all full-sized blankets so they hang over nice enough so I can still tuck it in and make the bed and then I finished it off with my quilts you guys know I love my get out gear quilts um, especially on these cold nights in the desert for some reason that we're having and that's it that's the new bed build or no build. Thank you guys so much for watching my no build bed build in the pilot. Um, this is just what I've kind of upgraded to. It's nice because it is a little bit wider. Pippa can sleep with me, especially on some colder nights and we're not so cramped and I feel like I'm not rolling over on her and we can actually get a good night's sleep sleeping next to each other and still feel like I have enough room to where my bed isn't taking over the entire car and that I can still have storage on the side. And I hope this helps at least give you a couple ideas of what you can do with your build. Feel free to share what you would be doing below and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!